For me personally, my body matters. How I exist in this body, feel in this body, is really important. I am more than my body. There's a lot of different ways to be a woman. I probably started medical transition, <laughs> I don't like to say years. Um, how I can say it? Because I'm proud of it. I started my medical transition 20 years ago. I've been very reluctant to talk about the details of my medical transition because historically, um, when folks have talked with and about trans folks, folks almost always exclusively focus on transition, surgery, what, what procedures did you have? And I fundamentally feel that those kinds of conversations objectify trans people. And we have begun to insist that our identities, that ourselves exist beyond our bodies, beyond surgery, beyond genitalia. I've had to uh, medically transition so that the world can see my spirit, <laughs> the spirit that I have um, inside me. So much of my process has been about acknowledging the things that cannot be changed surgically, like my voice, my deep voice, and my wide shoulders, and my big feet, and my big hands. And I started the hashtag trans is beautiful, really, for me, <laughs> um, but also for trans folks out there who are feeling like they are not there yet in their transition. I mean, 20 years into this, I still have moments when I'm like, oh my God, my voice is so deep. Oh my God, my shoulders are so wide. And then I literally, I literally will say trans is beautiful, Laverne. Self-love is a process. It's not a done deal. It's like I, I don't like have this crystal ball, like light bulb moment and then like all my problems are solved. It is a practice. It's something that I have to practice every single day. All the good things that have um, happened to me in my life, my nervous system, my body, in so many instances have experienced these things as too much, too fast, too soon. I just bought a, um, a condo in here in Los Angeles. I'm a first time homeowner. And um, when I went, this is a hard story. When I went into escrow, I started having anxiety attacks. The thought that kept coming up for me was, who do you think you are buying this fancy condo? You're just a black trans girl and you had an eviction notice six years ago and you were in housing court for the second time in your life and you're gonna screw this up. And as I sort of, as I sort of sat in therapy and we used to talk this through, I was in line at, at the housing and housing court uh, in New York City crying because it was the second time. Mm. It was the second time in two years that I had gotten an eviction notice that I was having trouble paying my rent. And I was like, how did I get here? Why, how have I allowed this to happen? And being homeless is my greatest fear, has always been my greatest fear. I hadn't worked through any of that stuff. And so buying a place, buying an apartment just brought it all up again. And so it's a very, very gentle process working the trauma out of the body and some things I'm not ready to fully deal with yet. The body can experience good things as trauma just as much as it can experience bad things as trauma. I've often found myself overwhelmed. Um, it's been very unusual for me being with a man who's available emotionally and physically. And being, being in a relationship, I have a boyfriend, and it's the first monogamous relationship I've been in in over a decade. It's really, really healing to be in a space with um, someone who loves my body, but also loves the person attached to it. I've been with, I've been with a, you know, a lot of men who have loved my body, right? And who have you know, sexually objectified me, but they weren't able to see the rest of me. For many years, I didn't think I had value beyond that. Can you imagine? I mean, I, 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 to be honest, I sit here as myself now, in my power. I'm a, I'm a smart chick, I'm kind of cute. I'm very talented. And I had the nerve to accept from men that all I was good for was sex. I had the nerve and a lot of that was because I was trans and I was like, I'm trans and so this is all I'm gonna get. So I'm, I need to make the most of it. And I had to begin to think differently about myself. And that's part of what Trans is Beautiful was about for me, about for me too. Making peace with the fact that some people are gonna see a trans person and that this does not mean that I'm a failure. It does not mean that I'm ugly. It does not mean that I should just go and die in a corner. That means that I'm a trans person and people can see that. And it's been a process over the past 20 years to be the woman sitting before you today who feels pretty good about herself. <laughs> <laughs>